Okay, this uh, this is a visa inquiry, uh, Mr. Zhang. I failed uh, several times to record uh, this PPT file with a recording, but um, voice recording, right? This I failed several times, but I tried to complete. Okay, okay, I'm really sorry about that. Okay, so, so if you are holding ET visa, right, want to the chain you have to 99 visa, there are four basic criteria required. We can we, we can see the the, the what is the what are the basic four the requirement and the first one uh, is the period so the if you want if you want to change and from e to visa to f to 99 visa right is it is required for five years so when is the starting date for the five years at the time of, of time of application for the F-99 visa, right? So uh, there are lots of opinions on that, but more safely, just to check your ARC and see that date of issuance, that is the first day to uh, start and the teaching with the E-2 visa. So the, you are the basic and the starting date of E-2 is based on the, the the date of issuance on your ARC and the second and the requirement is the savings so you need to prove uh, 30 million won and the savings on your bank account including your rent house deposit so the for example uh, you are saving as a uh, uh, 20 million won and your rent deposit is a 10 million won so totally 30 million won, that's enough. So savings on your bank account and also you can add it on your the rent house and deposit. But if this the rent house deposit that the was you know, provided by your hog one, it is not acceptable. So your bank account the savings and your and the deposit. Uh, on the uh, rent house contract, okay, that is uh, required. And the third is a yield income. It is uh, based on the last year's your income. So, the right now, if you apply for the F two ninety nine this year, two thousand nineteen income certificate issued by tax office is uh, required. But <coughs> I'm sorry. If you apply for the F-99 the next year before May, and you can use 2020 uh, the withholding tax certificate issued by your HAG-1. But if you are single and the uh, yearly income is uh, required for 12, 12 times of monthly basic income. So right now is a monthly basic income is almost 1.8 million one, right? So and uh, in the 12 times of 1.8 million one is around 21.6 million one. So if you are single and the last year's income is more than 21.6 million one, you you meet this yearly income requirement, but if you invited your spouse with F3 visa, right? If you do, you need to prove that your last year's income shall be over GNI, gross national income. So you need to consider that it is uh, better to stay with E2 visa or F299 visa, right? So if you are single, and 12 times of monthly basic income and required is almost 21.6 million won. But if your spouse stays with you in Korea and want to change up to 99 visa, right? Previous, uh, previous year's income shall be over GNI and gross national income. Okay. And the last one is. Uh, Korea proficiency, right? The Korean language, right? So if 
uh, your previous uh, in the last year, if you apply for the F-99 from E2 visa, right? Last year's and the Korean proficiency is required only for the uh, topic level two, but the, uh, starting from January second this year, and uh, a KIP stage four completion is mandatory. It's a required. So there is no accepting your topic anymore. So you need to study KIP, and also as you know that like a September first this year, right? But uh, you needed to pass an um, over 60 point after uh, KIP stage 4 compilation. But if you fail and the second time your score shall be over 40 points. But last year, if you take uh, three classes, right? And you can get it. But from this uh, September 1st, the after completion and you needed to take a test and get over 60 points. Now, after, if you failed, and you needed to get uh, more than 40 points to complete exactly KIP stage 4. Okay, I'll make a, a summarizing about this one. Basic for the requirements are required in the first five years from E2 visa to F99 visa application date. And the second one, saving 30 million won and including your rent house deposit. And third, yearly income if you are single and uh, uh, the monthly, uh, the 12 times of monthly wage is a almost 21.6 million won is required. But if you are, if you invited your spouse with F3 visa and want to change to uh, F99, yearly, previous yearly income shall be over GNI one time. GNI means uh, gross national income. The lastly, uh, you needed to complete KIP stage four. The complement meaning is if you take all the courses of uh, uh, stage four and take a test and the first test you shall uh, be over 60 point and after failed and second time to another one and and you were the test of research shall be over the 40 point this is a visa in korea mr Chang, and i hope that you plan that after tonight's and visa application and hopefully be successful See you next time.